Hello, this is a very quick look at the KitVision Safeguard 360 HD Indoor Wireless Home Security System. This is a Wi-Fi enabled camera and it's finished really nicely. It's white glossy plastic with just black around the lens. It's got a pan tilt function so this can actually move around and have a look at different areas. And on the bottom is a plate allowing you to attach this to a wall or ceiling. The plate's removable and that's how you get access to the power supply. You get a really nice long cable, very handy if you are going to attach this to a ceiling. This just clips into the bottom and is held firmly in place. You can then just replace the bottom plate Plug this in and you're pretty much ready to get set up. Setup was very easy using the downloadable app. I've tested this using Android and once your camera is set up, connected to the internet and you've got a iSecurity Plus account, you can then use the app to connect to the camera directly and this gives you a live feed of exactly what the camera is seeing. Now as well as just being a live feed, you can also control the camera. It's, this can be a little bit sluggish, so you can see I've just given it a command and it's not actually moved. But if you do it a couple of times, eventually the camera does respond and will start to turn. So you can either turn it left and right, or you can tilt it up and down to get the perfect view. The phone app as well allows you to take a photo of whatever it is you're looking at, and you can also record footage in real time. The footage is then saved on your phone. And you can just play that back like any movie file. And here's an example of footage saved onto the phone. Now you can also access the camera via the iSecurity website and that gives you very similar functionality. So you can view this in full screen if you want and you can also operate the pan and tilt modes. Uh, again though, it takes a couple of seconds. You can press the button. You just have to wait a couple of seconds and then eventually it will pan or tilt. The website also allows you to set various preferences, such as if you want night vision to be on automatically. Night vision makes use of some infrared LEDs, and this means if you are pointing it at a window, you will get reflection, but if you're pointing it just indoors, as, as it's designed to do, you get a really good, clean image. Without this mode active, that scene would have been pitch black. Out of the box, the camera can't actually record anything. It uh, doesn't have a memory card slot. So you'd need to use a phone to record footage as you saw earlier. However, if you do want to record, you can record to the cloud service. So at the moment, I'm not, not subscribed and there's no events to view. The cloud service itself costs $9.99 a month and there is a free trial. You don't need to put your credit card in, so it's well worth giving this a go. Once you're subscribed, any motion detected will then trigger an event and you can filter this by days, times. And the overall system is very easy to use. The website's slick, it's very simple. So I've set this up to look outside where there's a lot of motion so you can see the wide range of events being logged and you can delete these if they aren't required. You just have to confirm that or you can save them if you want to save this locally. So there's a couple of advantages to this system. One, if your camera goes missing, the footage is stored online and two, you don't have to worry about storage. You don't need an extra hard drive or a memory card, anything like that. So there are advantages to paying for such a subscription service if you are worried about something happening at your home and you want it recorded. Overall then, a really slick bit of kit. It's very easy to use. I hope you found this short review useful. Thanks for watching.